Julius! With a shout, I jump out of my sleeping bag. Was that just another dream? No. Like yesterday. That wasn't just a normal dream. Does that mean Ilias hasn't abandoned me? Alright. I can do it! Uh, what's all the noise so early in the morning? Still coiled around the tree, Alice rubs her sleep-filled eyes. Whatever. Make me something to eat. Snap, snap, get to it. <laughs> she doesn't think of anything but food, does she? Ah, <sighs> that was tasty. Hmm, I agree. Thus, we finished our breakfast of bread, salad, and fried eggs. Probably leftovers from yesterday. Wait, no. With her around, it wouldn't be leftovers. He would have had to redo it all again, wouldn't he? <laughs> we'll be short on ingredients until we make it to Iliasburg tonight. Once we get to a hotel, we can fill back up. Oh, great, Ilias. Please give me your blessing today as well. I mustn't forget my prayers after breakfast. Today's another wonderful day, thanks to Ilias. Already saying stupid things so early in the day? I'm just giving my thanks to Ilias. One of Ilias's five commandments is to be dutiful in your prayers. Grandma doesn't like it when you forget to call. Especially for someone on a journey like me. I have to make sure I have her protection. You, we've already established that you're unbaptized. You have no protection from Ilias. Five commandments. Ilias likes to force people to do stupid things, huh? And to do those stupid things so happily. Do you really like being her slave? She has another hate-filled expression on her face. Just like yesterday. It seems like she hates Ilias. <laughs> she only hates Ilias because she wants to sin and uh, neglect in Ilias' commandments. That's all it is. It has absolutely nothing to do with, you know, Ilias specifically telling people to exterminate her kind. No, that would have nothing to do with it, now would it? <laughs> Besides, doesn't Ilias hate monsters? Doesn't that go against what you believe in? Even if that's the case. She hit a sore spot with me. As much as Ilias loves humans, she despises monsters. One of the worst offenses you can commit is to have sexual relations with a monster. I'm sure she has her reasons, though. She has a plan, and that plan does not include people doing it with monsters. So, it's a no-go. <laughs> Humans are weak. Monsters are strong. This just might be trying to correct that imbalance. Besides, what's with her prohibition on relations with monsters? Most monsters can't breed if they don't mate with humans. Most being the operative term there. And yes, that is specifically the point. She doesn't want people breeding with monsters. So, for as many monsters as there are in the world, there are just as many humans who have broken that law. Incorrect! Many monsters have multiple offspring at a time, specifically the insect types. Ah, that's true! Did you just realize that now? Idiot! Are there really that many people out there who have broken her commandments? Yes. And despite what she keeps saying, she doesn't really go around smiting people all that often. She can't be bothered. <laughs> Wait. 
Wouldn't following that be effectively exterminating monsters by not allowing any offspring? Wouldn't that be an issue for you? If everyone follows that law, the world you dream of will collapse. Do you still think it's something good? I'm sure Ilias has some sort of plan. It must be good. It's good because Ilias commands it. And Ilias commands it because it is good. Jeez, you can't think for yourself, huh? It must be convenient to blindly follow a god like that. You don't need to say it like that. Well, putting that aside. Shall we head out? If we waste too much time, we won't make it to Iliasburg before nightfall. Hmm, that would be troublesome. After packing up our camp, we headed off uh, again. What's this wee business? I'm pretty sure uh, Alice didn't uh, uh, help. <laughs> We start heading north at a good pace towards Iliasburg. At this rate, we should arrive just before evening. I've only been to Iliasburg once before, a few years ago. It's a huge city. That was the furthest I had ever been away from my village. Using a wagon, we weren't attacked by any monsters. It's the same if you use the wagon ability in Paradox. Although I imagine Luca misses the harpy feathers that you can use in Paradox. The main street was filled with adventurers, merchants, and all sorts of people. Tons of different things in all shops, too. <laughs> I'm also looking forward to it. Looking for it? forward to it? You are? That's surprising. No, she isn't playing something bad. The famous Sutherland Inn at Iliasburg is known for their happiness honey filled ama ama dongo. Any gourmet would salivate at the thought of tasting it. And of course, it would be food. And something from 500 from the 500 year old tour guide, I'm sure. I don't know if the hotel is still there from 500 years ago. What do you say? It's only been 500 years. Interesting, another interesting note uh, in our um, real world at this time is that although we imagine the world being drastically di different from uh, 500 years ago in our time, before the industrial revolution things were pretty much the same for a long time i mean uh, think about it. the the chariot was the fastest mode of transportation for hundreds of years and yet uh, once uh, technology ramped up it, it changes just exploded so it's not unreasonable since this game is uh, based in a more medieval time setting that things would be relatively the same for several hundred years. I'm sure it's still there. I think humans and monsters can coexist. Well, it might be hard to get over this issue with time perception. Hmm? Something strange is lying in the center of the road. What's this? I think it's a plant. I need to take a closer look to make sure. Alice, what do you think it is? Huh? I turned around, but Alice wasn't there. Suspicious! Did she get lost? She was just there a moment ago. Whatever. She's strong. She'll be fine, even if she's lost. More importantly, what's this thing? Should I pull it out? 
Should I tug on it and see what it is? It might be something dangerous, though. It's not really blocking the road, so I could just go around it. Still, it's bugging me. It's like it's begging to be pulled. So I... I don't have to, but I'm going to pull it out! I'll pull it out! I grab the leaf and pull with all my strength! I'm really into this all of a sudden! Ah! Eh? A loud scream let loose as soon as I pull on the leaf. As soon as I hear it, my body is suddenly paralyzed. What the hell did I pull out? Mandragora. Alright. Hi there, Mandragora girl. In Paradox, her name is, uh, Ragora. And, uh, she dreams of being an idol. A superstar one day. But, uh, as you can guess, that dream is pretty much doomed, since any singing she tries to do will just paralyze her audience. And you can't see her dancing because her legs are underground. She still practices, tries to practice whenever she can. And it unfortunately knocks out all the birds, all the boars, and all the people who happen to be nearby. But still, what can I say? She's hot. So, she's a smash. What the hell are you doing? I was finally asleep too. I, I'm really sorry, but I seem to be paralyzed. It's hard to breathe now. I can't move my body. What is this? After falling backwards on my butt, I'm not unable to move my body at all. And the power left in my body to move even a single muscle. That's because you heard my scream. You can even kill people with weak hearts. The Mandragora explains, while staring at me, paralyzed on the ground. Well, I'll go back to sleep now. I'll be able to sleep longer if I have some nourishment. By nourishment, you don't mean... Of course, your stuff. I suck plenty, so get ready. No, no way! Let's see. I think our only option is to keep attacking. Ugh! Look at attacks! Our Luca's body is paralyzed and it doesn't move. Oh, are you trying to resist? I just have to lick you all over then. Just keep attacking! Stop it! Look at attacks! Our Lucas body is paralyzed and he doesn't move! Is it really so bad? I'm sure it is amazing, but we cannot lose here. No, no more! Come on, don't be begging like that. You've still got a little less than half HP left. Attack! Still able to resist? Well then, force you to surrender. You can't hold out! Must attack! Ah! Luca broke free from his paralysis! Luca attacks! And deals 13 damage. Ah! You don't know when to give up, do you? Ah. Ah. I can finally move my body again. And thankfully, he regained some HP through mysterious forces. Breaking free from the pro Oh, okay, I guess that explains there. Breaking free from the paralysis. I feel renewed energy film as I pick up my sword. Now it's time to fight back. Which, in normal mode, this battle would already be over. She would just leave. But not now. Now? Demon decapitation! 
He's still using his iron sword. You're really trying to kill this poor Mandragora girl. Oh, come on. At least use your attack. You can't use the normal mode. Use that hair of yours. Your root hair. Nothing to do but attack. Oh, that was it. I'm kind of surprised. Fine. Whatever. I'll go sleep somewhere else. Mandragora dives back into the ground. Mandragora was chased away. The current's 15 years speed. Uh, uh. That was really close in the first phase, not so much the second phase. That paralysis had lasted a bit longer. I would have been food. Indeed you would have. You would have been stuck underground as their nourishment for like a year. It would have been incredibly boring, I imagine. You drove it away? How absurd. Huh. Alice, where'd you go off to? There's even a chance of combat. I'm going to hide. I told you before that I'm not going to help you, then I? But how horrible. You attacked that Mandragora who's just minding her own business sleeping in the middle of a public road. So an else could have blocked her up and who knows? They could have been an old man. They could have died. So, I was doing everyone a favor by convincing her to sleep somewhere else. What barbarian. I don't know. She was the one who attacked me. Didn't you force her out of the ground? Uh... We want to fight against monsters who would attack travelers, getting in the way of a peaceful world. Uh, if I fought something unnecessarily, I think I did something awful. <laughs> so you have a violent side to you. That's good. Especially for what you're planning, it's good, yes. I do not like that plan. Anyway, with barbarism like that, you won't, you won't be able to fulfill your dream. That's not right! It was just a mistake before. <laughs> well then, make sure you show me your true character. I'll be more careful from now on. If I want to make a world where we can live peacefully together, I'll need to be more careful. We've almost reached Iliasburg. Just a little bit before, further to the north. Mandragora. A monster born from human blood and stuff. Usually buried underground, she is able to sleep for decades at a time. Normally, the photosynthesis from their leaves above ground is enough to sustain them. Mandragoras are mostly harmless staying underground. However, if they are forced out against their will, they will let loose a powerful shriek that paralyzes all living beings that hear it. Left in a bad mood, they regularly attack whoever pulled them out. If it's a man, they are sure to supplement their diet with his stuff. As a plant that's close to being human, mandragoras have female genitals that can be used for both feeding and reproduction. In addition, they are known to use their mouths and chests to wring stuff from their prey. As they are generally harmless to humans, it's wise to be wary of pulling them out from the ground. Luca was defeated by the Mandragora's chest. 
he was caught by the mandragora and forced to feed her with his, with his stuff until death. Evaluation. So you became a mandragora's food source. Losing the fight and being treated such a way. How pathetic. In this fight, never doubt yourself. Never give up. Just continue to attack single-mindedly. You have no other option, so yeah. If you do so, you will open your route to victory. Even more, you can avoid the battle completely by a previous choice. Completely avoiding a fight isn't something a hero would do, though. In addition, on normal, this enemy won't use certain technique. With normal, it's only a scripted battle. On hard, it'll become a normal battle that lasts two turns. Make sure you check the Monsterpedia to ensure you've learned everything about your opponent. Now go, oh brave Luca. Wield your sword of justice in my name. Sit